Welcome back everyone to beautiful Gig Harbor. Welcome back. And this is a live look at the Heritage Distilling Tasting Room in the heart of downtown Gig Harbor. One of the destination spots in a destination spot, yes. <laughs> right? You know, the size of Gig Harbor is a little deceiving. It's not as big as most people think. Only about 9,500 people actually call Gig Harbor home, right? But it swells during the <laughs> daytime because so many people are coming into the downtown area. Thousands actually come in to see what Gig Harbor is all about. Take a look. Cruising through town, its size is deceiving. Gig Harbor is roughly six and a half square miles, but its heart is here on Harborview Drive. Is it one size? It is one size. Okay, it's from good. Paris. Tickled Pink, it's among the many shops thriving, a place where you can find, well, just about anything. Lived in Port Townsend, small town USA for 15 years, and then found this treasure. Heidi and Carrie, both locals, started working here five years ago. I moved here from... That dirty word, California. Oh, please. Leslie Garbin is a transplant. I chose to live here because it's like New Zealand, which I was born and raised in. That's why I chose to live here. Mountains, greenery, water, nice people. <laughs> Small shops, quaint restaurants, old businesses making way for new. Gig Harbor's Heritage Distilling, just four years old, is already expanding. But after 30 years, rising rent on Maine means McBecklands had to move. It was kind of sad to leave that spot. Lloydette Roberts is now two blocks off Maine, hoping her customers will find her. The growth is necessary to survive, and we can't keep everyone out. I mean, we just have to adjust the best that we can. Helping her do that is the Downtown Waterfront Alliance and Executive Director Mary Damaris. She helps businesses build relationships, work together, so they can all thrive. So we want to see economic vitality here, but we also want to maintain that historic heritage that's so precious to small communities. So we mentioned Heritage Distilling. It's a company that started right here in Gig Harbor. Now they're known all across the country. I, joining us now is one of the owners, Justin Stiefel. Thanks so much for coming out to talk to Thanks us today. Thanks for coming to Gig Harbor. We appreciate early. it. <laughs> you know, when we had our community meeting and get together, one thing that really impressed me, you came out to talk to yep. us, was how, when you were building the company, you worked with Gig Harbor and said, I want to be here, here's where I'm thinking about, and how can I be a part of this community? You weren't, it wasn't an announcement like, yeah. I'm opening up Tuesday, yeah. take note. Why yeah. was that important to you? Well, so we're in a highly regulated environment, so we have to go seek permission everywhere we go. And because we're in the spirits industry, for some people it's still a little scary because they've got thoughts that are 30, 40, 50, 80 years old. But we think that in Washington, because of the wineries and the breweries, we've demonstrated that our industry as a whole can act responsibly, create jobs, use a lot of Washington-grown raw ingredients, materials, grains, fruits, and bring an interesting experience and a new type of uh, opportunity for consumers, tourists, and uh, employers to come together. So you wanted to say from the very beginning, not only are we opening up shop, but we want to be a part of this community and a responsible part of the Absolutely. downtown environment. Yeah. That's going to make you glad that we're here. Community is one of the four pillars we serve as yeah. a company, along with our customers, our shareholders, and our employees. So you picked Gig Harbor. You have a place in Roslyn as well. Yes. You could have picked LA or New York. Why do you pick smaller communities and really put your roots in there? We want to show that uh, while there's a lot of amazing economic things happening in big core areas, people should be investing in small towns still. I'm a big believer in small community mm -hmm. and in local. And uh, the more folks realize that we can bring activity back to the core downtown areas of our historic heritage communities, the more the communities thrive. So with that, you're invested not only in heritage distilling, you're invested in the marina, you're invested in the shops next door, you're invested in everything that makes the historical districts Gig all of Harbor. It, yeah. yeah, and so we chose the name Heritage for a reason Love because that name. it works Love it. everywhere. Everybody has a heritage. There's a heritage of every location. And it happens to be that Gig Harbor's heritage is related to the fishing community and we're all tied to the water. Speaking well, of Justin, which, 
That's for you, BSB, brown sugar bourbon. This heritage would be a brown sugar bourbon heritage. <laughs> uh, so, Justin, thank you so much. They don't just much. do bourbon, by the yeah. way. They do vodka, bourbon. I mean, all flavors, all kinds. It, it's a really a destination on the main strip, on which is Harborview Street. Drive, where you can you have ladies' night. I mean, it's really kind of a fun little place. Thank so, you. So uh, thanks so much. Thank uh, you your much. wife also is the president of the company, which Ever. I love. That thank you for involved. helping us get to know Gig Harbor better. Well, really. uh, one ounce at a time. Cheers! <laughs> Back to you guys!